What's going on everyone? Clark Bartram here. We are with legendary strength and conditioning coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Coach Garrett Guimont. So let's take them through a little bit of your history so they know who you are and what you've done and why you are the perfect person to say, hey NFL, this is perfect to make your guys better. Well, I hope the NFL doesn't take it. Let's go ahead and keep this out of the NFL. We'll just keep it with the Pittsburgh Steelers. You've been around a while and you understand what it takes to take a professional athlete and make him better. That's our attempt on a day-to-day -day basis, yes. We, uh, we're already uh, in a very fortunate position where we're dealing with the top 1% of the world. Um, but when you have the top 1%, they still need to improve so that you win games on a consistent basis. A lot of times in life, you see different things and I think that sometimes either people get it instantaneously or they don't get it. You know, and the first time that I saw the frog, um, it's an instantaneous connection from my principles of what I deal with. Um, it's a physical sport, and when you look at the frog and way the, the way the frog moves and the mechanics of the movement of the frog, it takes you into a horizontal position and teaches you how to utilize the energy when you get back vertical. And that's everything that we do in football. So when I saw it, I instantaneously said, this is something I want to incorporate into the program. And it's really where we finish. We do our strength work and then we do our core training afterwards. And this takes that combination of total body. It's a multi-joint mover, all right, with the different movements. So you're taking your multi-joint movers along with taking that vertical to horizontal positioning which takes people a little bit out of their comfort zone, which really locks them in for their technique. And then, once you were doing it, it absolutely will put a whooping on you, all right? So the unit is a lot of fun to do. It's great team building because you can go ahead and hoot and holler, as, as probably people are gonna see with these kids. Well, it doesn't change the Pittsburgh Steelers. We had 100-yard challenges. We had races. We had 15-yard races. We had all the things that you're seeing here today. We had it at the professional level. And, and the guys really enjoy it. And it really helps tie together everything that I'm attempting to do from a strength standpoint to improve on a day-to-day -day basis. Do you see any sort of benefit to the frog in rehabbing people, hip mobility, issues like that, flexibility? Yeah, and, and I utilized it this year. I did utilize that coming back off different injuries and what have you, especially when you have the frog breaks where you can go ahead and isolate some movements and what have you so you can teach it in an isolated state and then take them into a multi-joint joint space, which is, which is a great ability is it's really wonderful to do so there's no question about it as we continue to go and grow with the frog in the program it continues to have uh, a, a more valuable effect do you believe that this product is going to help your athletes get better well if, Clark if I didn't it wouldn't be in the weight room I don't I don't uh, I don't have any product or exercise or running or agility or what have you if if I don't believe it's going to help the athletes that I'm working on be the best that they possibly can. It wouldn't be there. So to answer your question, yes, I think the frog is is a fantastic addition to our off-season program, and we'll carry it all the way through during this this season. One word to describe this product called the frog, and we're going to close it out with that one word, Coach. What would that one word be? Shoelace. It's it's like a shoelace of everything that I do, um, and it wraps a nice, neat bow around it. And the description is, is I see a lot of fancy shoes out here. If you took all your shoes or your cleats or what have you, you took the shoelaces out of your cleats and then tried to play football, how do you think those shoes would have performed? That is the best pull workout <laughs> in the business. I give get, I get, I get credit. Lance, that, thing, that thing work everything. And it's, and it's technique. So you have to have perfect have. technique. <laughs> no word. Right Intense. <laughs> Intense. Watch out, man. I got I gotta give it to him. It's intense. It's good though. It ain't easy. <laughs> no. This is a good workout. With the hip flexibility and the core mobility and strength and the shoulder dexterity without having to have feet on the floor and weight on your back, um, it's unbelievable. So I got to try it and for a 40 year old man it was pretty hard, but uh, but I think it's pretty awesome. My name's Nick Farrell, I'm the strength conditioning coach here at Santa Fe Christian and just the things that I look at when I'm in the weight room with young kids that are developing, you know through the hips, ankle mobility, all those sort of things are addressed with this with this machine. That, that's really what 
that got me going. And that the fact that it's all encompassing, kind of like uh, Coach Wallace was saying, you get the cardiovascular effect, and you get you know skeletal muscle, CNS, all that stuff in there. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty high on it right now. Uh, definitely a huge workout, as unlike anything I've ever felt when I got off it. I didn't really know what to compare it to because I just felt head to toe just completely wiped out. But I love it and I hate that thing. It's intense. It's, it's weird. It's like it's not normal. It doesn't feel normal. But like you get off it, your legs are shaking. It's a great workout. I think I just got a better workout in two minutes of using that than I have in my whole life. <laughs> Woo! You got me. <laughs> it worked, it worked. I was on like five minutes, I think I'm sweating real bad right now, bro. And my shoulders and my thighs everywhere. You'll feel it. You'll feel it, Bernie. Just get on. Go. You alright? I'm good. Worst fun you ever have, ever have, ever have. Get on the frog. <laughs> I love that. Sam, did that happen? Why'd you just puke? That frog? <laughs> Did that frog do that to you? Is that because of the frog? Yes. This yes! Was, this, was, this was like quesadillas.